So, art. Did you just use the exact same intro from your last video? Shut up, I couldn't think of anything else. Do you remember when I said in my last video? Okay, well, I have five more artists, but I'm saving them for a part two, so look out for when that happens, I guess. Well, guess what? You're getting the sequel that nobody asked for. I'm gonna be honest here, I was not expecting that video to blow up the way it did, actually. Like, I thought it was gonna get, like, 20, maybe 30 views at best, but damn, that's a lot! I'd also like to say a thank you to all the people that were supporting me in the comments. Like, you guys are so sweet. Thank you so much. I'd also encourage you to go watch that video as well, because I think it'll give more context to this video. But the basic rundown is that I take the art styles of other YouTubers and I try to draw them with varying degrees of quality. And this video was a follow-up to my last one because I didn't add the other five artists I was supposed to in that one. Because I didn't think I'd be able to fit all of those artists in a single video with a suitable time frame in it. But yeah, I'll quit my ramblings here and just start off with the first artist of today. Okay, so I know I'm probably going to have to address this at some point, so I may as well do it now. Uh, yeah, I changed my own art style. <laughs> and the weird thing is, I don't even know why I did it. I literally looked up how to draw in a different style, got a bunch of random Pinterest links, picked one, and now I'm suddenly drawing like this. What? So, uh, yeah, if m these intro cards look like they were drawn by a 15-year-old on DeviantArt in 2015, uh, you know why. <laughs> the first stop on today's video is Haminations. Now, I'm gonna be honest, I haven't watched Haminations in, like, a long time. I used to watch him a lot when I was really young, but then after a while I just kind of stopped. And only recently have I actually started picking up some of his content again. But with that being said, I actually really like a lot of Hamination's content. One of my favorite videos of his has to be where he talks about his dog. Like, I just... I don't know. Like, I'm not even a dog lover. I'm more of a cat person, but like, that was an amazing video. <laughs> I'd also just like to mention that the way that Haminations draws his hair compared to I draw my hair is kind of similar. I don't know, maybe it's just because I didn't really have much trouble with it because the amount of times that I draw hair like he does, I don't know. And here's how it turned out. I quite like how this one turned out actually. I think that I definitely managed to replicate the style pretty well on this one. My only problem with this one is the fact that the shoes, like, have no detail on them whatsoever. I think what I was going to do was I was going to save the shoes for last, and then I just didn't do anything with it. But yeah, other than that, I'd say this one went pretty good actually. Right, next up we have Kelsey Animated. The way I found out about Kelsey Animated was with her collaboration that she did with Scribble Juice, specifically this video with this clip. Sure enough, there is an old lady with a mobility aid crossing the road in front of the car. Oh sh**! <laughs> Truly, a work of fine art. I can't play the whole thing for obvious reasons, so I'm gonna link the video in the description, cause it's definitely a good watch, so you know. I actually didn't struggle on this too much as I thought I was going to. Maybe the neck proportions threw me off a bit, but other than that, I think I actually managed to draw this pretty productively. And here's the final result. I like how this one turned out, honestly. I'm especially proud of the hair. I think I managed to replicate that pretty well in terms of Kelsey's art style. My only minor nitpick is that for some reason I didn't draw a hoodie and instead I draw a shirt for some reason. I don't know why I did that. I think I just did that because I didn't know how to draw a hoodie in her style, but I don't know. Aside from that, good drawing.
Next on our list, we have sugar. I'm going to be honest, I... Okay, I'm not even going to sugarcoat it. I hate this one a lot. Okay, so basically what happened was I was trying to draw sugar's eye shape. You know, where it's like a circle and another circle and, you know, you can see it on screen. And to cut a long story short, I had a lot of trouble with this and I have no idea why. I thought, oh, this will be easy. It's just a couple circles. It's fine. Oh, boy. Was I wrong? I kid you not, I spent a whopping 10 minutes trying to figure out how to draw her eye shape. It may not look like it from the speed paint, but it took me a while. And here I thought I did Emmy reach you dirty. This is just beyond sad. And here's our final result. Oh god, I'm gonna be honest, I think it's just the eyes that ruin it, and also probably the hair as well, I probably could have done better on the hair. I just don't think there are really any redeeming qualities to this drawing, so I'm just gonna leave it at that, really. Okay, so next up we have Domix. I used to watch Domix a lot when I was younger, but after a while I did stop. Recently I have been starting to get back into his content again, however I haven't been overly invested. That's not to say that Domix's videos nowadays are, oh my god they're so trash. No, he still makes good content obviously. I guess it's because my attention span has turned to that of a goldfish, so I haven't really been able to keep up with most of his content. Damn you, YouTube shorts. But I still do pop in from occasion and I get a chuckle, so it's all good. Here's our final result. I really like how this one turned out, honestly. I think I managed to get the proportions pretty well. I did pretty good on the head. And I also like the face. I don't know why, I just find it pretty funny to look at. Overall, I'd say I did pretty good on this one. And last but not least, we have Hopeless Peaches. Okay, so as like a quick clarification, Hopeless Peaches isn't actually a storytime animation channel, she's actually a drama channel. I just thought I'd include her because she draws, so it's pretty self-explanatory there. Also, as a sequel to the last clarification, this is actually Hopeless Peaches' old art style. She has a new one now, but I decided to go with her old one because I mean, honestly, I don't really think I'd be able to draw like that, let's be real here. Now, I'm pretty sure you've already noticed what's going on on screen, but this isn't actually the character I draw myself as. No, this is actually an entirely different character. This character's name is Rosabelle, and she's from an old series I made called Love and Woe. Basically, the gist of the series is that a princess is kidnapped by an evil queen, a knight goes to save her, but the knight fails and then gets his heart shattered into seven pieces. And when the princess manages to escape, she decides that she's going to go get the seven heart pieces of the prince in order to save him. But the evil queen decides to make the princess's job ten times harder, so she gives a single heart piece to each seven deadly sin. So then the princess goes on this grand adventure to get the seven heart pieces from the seven deadly sins in order to save the prince and then destroy the evil queen once and for all. You know, just the average Tuesday. Yeah, I know, it's not a grade 10 level story, but at the same time I'm not really good at storytelling, so meh. I actually had a lot of fun drawing this. I liked drawing the hair and the dress, and I also liked coloring it in as well. I don't know why, I think I just did a pretty good job on it overall. I also really like the hands I drew. I don't know how I managed to do that, especially since they look very different from the way I draw hands, but eh, somehow I managed to make it work. And here's the final artwork. I actually really like how this one turned out. I think I managed to replicate Hopeless Peach's style pretty well in this drawing. I especially really like the eyes as well. I managed to get that done pretty perfectly in my opinion. My only gripe is the ears, honestly, but I think that's just more of a small problem that can really be overlooked, honestly. Other than that, I like this. Well, that about wraps up this video. I want to say that I'm really sorry for taking too long on this video. Like, it's been, what, four weeks since I've uploaded? When I said, oh, I'm gonna work on my upload schedule, that obviously didn't happen, did it? 
but don't worry because from here on out I'm actually going to have a consistent upload schedule. <laughs> Shut up, we know you're lying. Can you get out of my house please? But yeah, I promise to stop being a lazy slob and actually try to upload videos at a consistent pace. <laughs> What did I just tell you? But yeah, thank you for your patience. Leave a like and subscribe. Yes, I know that's still cheesy. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.